G'day folks, welcome to the OCC Queensland Daily Weather Wrap today, the 14th of January 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Right, obviously the big talking point at the moment is the development of the monsoon trough and particularly to the south of the monsoon trough, the potential intensity of the rainfall that's going to be experienced in this northeastern and northern central eastern Queensland coastline. This morning we're seeing a weak circulation off the coast of Ingham and Townsville. That's holding off some of the really heavy rain just a touch off the coastline. If that circulation breaks down, we'll be able to pull some of that rain into the coastline in that section of, uh, in that section of Queensland. Uh, the expectation is that this entire region of significant rainfall will shift southwards as the day progresses and into tonight. On the velocity imagery, we're also seeing winds gusting up to around about 50 to 60 kilometres an hour off the coastline, so not a fun place to be if you're a boaty. Right, so when we take a look at our deep layer atmospheric winds, what we can see here is this wind turning from the northwest, turning north and then turning northeasterly. Now, this is the key component. This is what creates that rainfall, is that turning of the air mass back into the coastline. Now, what we're going to see here is the structure of this trough is going to change over the next 24 hours into a monsoon trough. So rather than just being a surface trough, it'll change into a monsoon trough. And on the southern side of that, and that's you can see the southern side where the air's turning is just south of Townsville all the way down to about about Serena, possibly St. Lawrence. And this is an area of particular interest from a rainfall perspective. As we progress into tomorrow morning, we see that the trough aligns east-west and we see that this squeeze zone, this zone where the air is coming back into the coastline, is occurring in this area from around about Bowen southwards tomorrow. So gradually shifting that area of heavy rain southwards over the next 24 to 36 hours. And then from that point, that area of squeezing just sort of sits there around that Whitsundays, Mackay, Serena, St. Lawrence area for just an extended period of time. Although the squeeze inside the squeeze zone is actually decreasing, it's getting weaker. So eventually, as we progress into early next week, we're probably going to see decreasing rainfall intensities, even though the trough might stick around. Right, so what does that mean from a rainfall perspective? Well, we're going to see significant falls in this area, particularly south of Townsville, but for the next few hours, it includes Townsville and surrounding regions. We can see falls in excess of 100 millimetres, particularly near the coastline. Falls, of course, could be much higher than what you're seeing on your screen here. As we talked about a few days ago, global computer models don't tend to do very well with local rain maximums. So there's, I'm sure there's going to be people out there that'll say they got X amount, 300, 350 in their gauge. Uh, this won't be well modelled by global models. And what we can see here though is widespread falls in the 100 plus millimetre range on that extended coastline uh, all the way down to about Serena. You can see as we progress further southwards the, wind, the rain totals decrease significantly. We are still getting a few showers on a southeasterly airflow further south plus a bit of light patchy rain coming off the convection off the, uh, off the north in the squeeze zone. Further northwards, the monsoon gets going over the next 24 hours, and so we're going to start to see increasing showers and thunderstorms across Cape York Peninsula, potentially the Torres Strait, and increasing showers and thunderstorms expected across the northern inland parts of the state, and also quite a few showers and storms in the Gulf Country. So that's the next, uh, that's the next 18 hours or so. So quite clearly, the area of heaviest rainfall, Townsville's just on the northern edge of that, and you you can see the area of heaviest rainfall further southwards. And notice there's a little increased convergence maximum here in the, in the uh, southeastern parts or southern parts of the Burdekin or in the Burdekin catchment. That could be a little area of just enhanced rain in the inland zone. These storms up around the area inland of Cairns, inland of Tully are going to be forming directly on the monsoon trough. And so the ex expectation is that any storm activity in this area is going to be very slow moving. So we could see localised very heavy falls in that area. As we progress our focus into Sunday, the expectation, as we talked about, is a general clearance to some degree. It's not going to be a fine, beautiful, sunny day, but a general clearance of the heavy rainfall further south into the southern parts of the Burdekin catchment, uh, southeastern parts of the Burdekin catchment, and then further south from that point. So Bowen, with Sundays, Mackay, Serena, possibly. St. Lawrence. All these areas are expecting to see big falls in the 1 to 300 millimetre range again tomorrow. 
The monsoon tomorrow will continue to drive lots of showers, lots of storms in lots of places up around the Cape York Peninsula and through the northern interior. We see slow moving showers and storms developing on the monsoon trough. Further southwards, we generally see decreasing rain in the uh, in the northern central Queensland interior regions uh, and Generally speaking, across inland Queensland, we will see rainfall, deca rainfall intensities decaying as we get some drier, more stable air into this area. But for the coastal regions, plenty more to come, particularly south of Townsville. And you can see in most of our computer model guidance that, thanks to Meteologics.com, that most of our rainfall is just south of towns or through the Burdekin, Whit Sundays, Mackay, the ranges west of Mackay, and out towards Mount Coolin. Now, you can see here there's quite variation, quite significant variations in the numbers in terms of how much rain is falling inland. So you can see there the European model, very aggressive in some of the rain totals inland. I suspect probably too aggressive. Uh, but you can see there most of our guidance is pretty on the spot here with the uh, falls of 200 to 500 millimetres expected between now and uh, Monday morning across this Burdekin with Sundays, particularly, uh, I think, focusing the, the, the heaviest rain around the Witch Sundays Mackay region at this stage. Obviously, with a monsoon trough forming and potential low pressure system formation along that monsoon trough, we need to be careful if we're on the water. In fact, we probably need to be avoiding the water if we can uh, around the Mackay to Townsville coastline and adjacent uh, oceanic waters offshore uh, in this area for the next 24 to 48 hours. Gradually, we're going to see that area shift southwards, and so these coastlines north of Townsville from tomorrow might become a little bit safer, particularly from later tomorrow. But uh, south of Townsville, you want to be avoiding the ocean waters if you can. Bureau of Meteorology maintains a severe weather warning from areas from Cardwell to Camilla and adjacent inland areas. So that includes that little rain maximum that we looked at to the south of Charters Towers. And we see some very big falls near Townsville, 190 millimetres at Kungala. We see some big falls out the back of, uh, of Mackay as well over the last 24 hours. We have a subscription service at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au that outlines a lot more detail and depth in information and when the rain, where the rain, how much rain, what are the complicating factors, all that sort of stuff. Uh, check that out if you're interested. Thanks for supporting our work and thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Enjoy the rain. Stay safe.